Hello everyone, this is James from mkiaudio.tk and welcome back to the final part in this video series called Home Studio Basics. In the previous videos we talked about DAWs, um, microphones, studio monitors and audio interfaces. So I've done a final video in this series just to talk a little bit about other bits and pieces you might need for your studio. Uh, these aren't essential but there's things that will make your workflow a little bit easier. So other items you may need, uh, cables is quite an important one and they're probably a necessity but it's important to get the right type of cable for the right type of connection. So for your instrument cables, uh, the likes of guitar leads etc, you would use an unbalanced uh, quarter inch jack cable. Uh, for your speaker cables you would want uh, a balanced uh, quarter inch jack cable. And then obviously a microphone uses uh, an XLR connection. Uh, other bits and pieces would be a mic stand. Uh, I would generally advise going for a boom stand because it generally gives you a wee bit more uh, flexibility in the positioning of your mics. Uh, for recording vocals etc you might want to put a pop filter onto it. Another big one which is probably a video series on its own would be acoustic treatment. So. You may decide to cut out your entire room with it with a full kit or simply adding a few bits and pieces just to catch uh, any reflections. But say that's a video wall and so on, but definitely it's something you want to look into if you're going to be recording and mixing in a room. So one more thing I will mention, and this is quite an important one, get a hard drive of some description. Now if you are working on your own music, and, and you have it all saved to your laptop and uh, your laptop crashes or your hard drive fails on your laptop, that your own music is gone. Uh, there's no way of getting it back if you don't have a backup. Now, if you're working on somebody else's music and you've been working for weeks on a mix or a recording session or an album and your drive and your computer fails and you've lost that and it's a client's work, uh, that can have devastating consequences. So whether you're working for yourself or working for a client, a hard, uh, hard drive is nearly a necessity. Um, you can use it as a backup drive or if you can get a, an external hard drive and use that as a, I call them a read and a write drive. Basically, if you're recording, you record to your external hard drive rather than to your hard drive built into your laptop. Um, that leaves the hard drive in your laptop there to uh, deal with all your system processes etc and your external drive then is used purely for recording too. Uh, so this will speed up the processing power of your computer a little bit. Um, I also mentioned then as a backup, uh, try and have an external hard drive as a backup rather than a built in one. That way if your laptop gets stolen or damaged you still have that hard drive with all your uh, your files saved on it or your main information saved on it. So it's, uh, it's quite important. Uh, you don't want to lose all your hard work. If you've been working on something for weeks and you lose it, it will be the most gutting feeling in the world. So thanks for watching. This is a short one to finish, I know. Uh, but say go back if you haven't seen them and watch the previous four ones for a bit of advice on your home studio basics. Um, let's say you can visit the blog at www.mkiaudio.tk. I've loads of articles on there about uh, home studios, uh, mixing tips and recording tips. Um, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash mkiaudio. I'm on Twitter at mkiaudio. Uh, the podcast's up as well. Um, every week with the podcast, I try to talk a little bit about... Um, really general theories within mixing and also uh, I have a my advice section where I try to share uh, a mixing tip or recording tip every week. So you can check it out at uh, www.mkaudiopodcast.tk. As usual, rate, comment and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Uh, I will have more videos posted up here soon, so subscribe and you'll be notified as soon as I put them up. Like I say, this is James from mkiaudio.tk. Thanks for watching.